Hello, hello, folks, and welcome back to Life Force. For a moment, I had forgotten completely what I was playing. And I'm on the map editor here for the first, um, I'm for, sorry, for the third mission here. Um, okay, good, that's a bit bigger on your side. Um, I just want to have a bit quick uh, look around here because. I'm... What's the words? What's the words? It's, it's nice to see the, like, little, you know, hidden details for this, you know? But it's, like, you know, the... Um... Basically, you know where the other guy was? The other one of them. I'm just trying to see where he is, because... I... Honestly, can't find it. I, I I can't think of you know where he'd be. Ah, and here's the inside of that cave that we saw earlier. So, is, do we see Anne over here? Nope. Don't see Anne there. Crosshair trip. Don't know what that means. Um. What's this over here? Oh, it's the uh, ship and the planet. Alright. There's the second mech recruit. Clearly this guy is in any way associated because he, you know, doesn't have a circle. There's got to be another one around here somewhere. Okay, let's see. There's a third one. Hmm. Okay, there's nothing there. The shadows... Bleh. Remember, I was just concerned over what was hidden there. Nothing there at all. Um. Uh, hmm. Gonna be honest, I actually don't see where the other guy could be. Honestly, don't. Stuck boss? Mm -hmm. I'm like having a look. There's a map you can't see off to the top left, and I can click on it and go to different points. But I uh, like I can click see the mech tech recruit there, and I can see different white points. He's a white point, but I can't see. Any white points I haven't checked. Like, there's the resources. There's that mech tech. Then again, some of these kind of blend in with the environment a bit. See that there, but I have no idea how you access it. Um. Also, ignore that green patch there. That's just because I misclicked. That mech tech, that's the only other guy I, I can see, but he doesn't have a recruit uh, uh, beacon there. So I've actually no idea if that's even, you know, achievable. Wait. No, there's no one there. I just thought I saw a white point there as if to denote a uh, mech tech, or the recruit beacon for them anyway. Yeah, I have no idea. Regardless, let us get on with this. Sorry, it's just uh, it's a case of here. Like, here's the map. I just wanted to show you. Here's what the map looks like in the map editor, and whatnot. And we could have a look together to see if we could find the guy. But no, I have no idea where he is. The only other mech tech I can find is that guy that was there, but I can't see a way to actually access him unless there's some little secret way to do it to doing it in which case I wouldn't know what it is but yeah I'm just loading up the Devil's Canyon map again I'll be once I can once it's fully loaded like I can swap over to where I was Gloria not entirely sure if that's how you say it but it sounds fanciful Uh. 
It sounds very fanciful indeed. And there's clearly much more to the uh, group here than them just being, you know, uh, tree huggers. You know, they have some master. They and like I said, I doubt it's the Doctor Who villain. Um. Okay, everyone's just gonna camp out here. Attack. Oh, oh. Cloak and kill it, please. Stay by this. Nice move. Damn it. Huh. These actually performed as adequate uh, decoys. Nice. I've also uh, actually went and installed a few more. Um, oh, what do you call it? Uh, custom campaigns. So, uh, once I've done this. I'll be moving on to them. Basically, I'm on the right kick of them right now, so eh, expect to see a good few. Expect to see a good few. Hmm. Come over here. Okay, let's see. Need to. Start setting up a few bit of defenses. We'll set up a bunker right here. Hmm. What's the range? What's the range on this? Six point five. That's five. Yeah, that's probably. Um, you know, it's probably fine if I toss a bunker there. It won't wreck anything. What? What just got shot up into the air? Looked like some icon just went flying up. Okay, I'm going to strike him a little. Oh, uh, that was the turret. Move. The acolyte can't actually attack, which is quite quite nice. Uh, and it is really weird to just see the um, nice. It is really, really weird to be seeing the, um... Uh, Warcraft 3 textures, but there you go. Nice. But yeah, for some reason, the turret just went flying up into the air. No idea why, but there you go. Annoyingly, this does seem to... Its current range is short enough that it's actually... Having the bunker there is actually a really bad idea. Means this can't actually get involved. Unless the enemies get very close. And since they have the capacity for range... They aren't gonna. So I think I need to... Empty it and deconstruct it. And put it like over here and here. Uh, put it, hmm. put it there. And back to work. We need to move everyone over here, and we'll pull all the SCVs to here. Shadow counts. Cloak. Kill it. Come on. Thank you. Shadow counts over here. Ye move. Heal. Heal. Fuck's sake. Out of curiosity, what's their range? Five. So they've barely. Uh, well, they've slightly shitter range than the other guys. But only slightly. Than the uh, turret tank. They just kill them. They can tank the hits. There we go. There we go. I really do like the, uh, these repairer things because, unlike the pul healing pulses, they're just constantly repairing. 
It's just a repairing beam, you know? You don't have to wait for the pulse to come around. The repairing beam is just constantly repairing for free. I'm not sure how well it repairs, but it does repair. And it at least seems that the turret in the air is gone. Okay. I was wondering, like, it mightn't be, um, like, I might only see when I'm over here, so I had to move look forward to just be sure. Uh, but anyway. I need to grab Yi, and I need to start setting up some defenses. And actually some base infrastructure. Uh, atmospheric disturbance, income aerial attackers. Ooh, I no real anti-air right now. Let us... Okay, do that, and everyone back to work. I just hope we've got enough here to take these on. Oh, it's a wrecker? I'm... Not particularly concerned. It got to do absolutely nothing there. Absolutely nothing. Th that turret was able to keep them at bay completely. If that turret, if there, like, if there was no one in that turret, that bunker would have been able to keep that air unit at bay indefinitely, which is very nice. Also, there's apparently no detection at this base. Seems like a perfect. Uh, next place to expand to, doesn't it? No, stay, stay there. These shadow cats are very, uh, they're actually quite goddamn handy, I have to say. Ah. Doesn't seem too well defended. A F few cultists here and there, but nothing, you know, too intimidating. Still don't want to send my shadow cats in, you know, as is. Probably wouldn't end up well. Of course, I have an insufficient vest being gas. Why would I have sufficient stuff? Why would I? Shadow cats. Ooh, it's expensive. But it only costs minerals, which are, of which I have plenty. So I am not uh, upset in the slightest. Not upset in the slightest. Just need to get more gas. Okay. Get the new steel frame. And let's get a couple more shadow cats. Uh, there's an attack coming from that angle. It's probably going to come right here. Though it may arc down to that. Hard to be sure. Uh, shadow cats. Let's let's go take out their acolyte before they get anywhere close. Ooh, they have two acolytes. Nothing to be entirely concerned about, though. You know, the acolytes just replenish um, shielding. Folk. They they can't actually attack themselves, you know. Though it would be nice if the acolytes attack themselves. Come on. Coke. And kill. Okay. And yeet. Ooh, I lost the all the guys I had there. That's a bit annoying. And you repair that. Get back in there. Research complete. Everyone group up. Uh, better get the tech reactors for well, both of these. I'll get that one's tech reactor in a bit. Um, I do wonder what the uh, upgrades the shadow cats will have. It's curiosity. Get more SCVs. Um, actually, yeep. Toss down a bunker. I'm nervous in tossing down a bunker in the slightest because uh, basically, 
I want the enemies within range of this because otherwise it it wasn't that useful getting the gun. It may get become useful if say my bunker falls and the enemies get a bit closer, but I want I would prefer the bunkers not to have to fall. You know. Just so seems better strategically if that's not a necessity or part of my plan. You know, I plan for my base to fall apart. Like, that just seems a little weird. Oh, Christ. The, the bloody pride of Shadow Cats here. Nice. He moving. It's kind of cool and kind of weird to be seeing the uh, Warcraft tree icons here. Like, I kind of like it, and it just kind of seems strange to me. Just not used to it, basically. They just look a lot different to the, you know, StarCraft stuff, you know? So, yeah. You over there. Uh, call down some commandos. I could go with enforcers, you know. I'm thinking, enforcers are I do have a good, nice range, you know. I think they have a better range than uh, commandos do. It's, you know, I think that's their thing, you know. It's, and they even have this upgrade here, which increases said maximum range. So yeah, I think I'm going to turn out a fair few enforcers. And once I have the gas, I'll grab this upgrade. Okay. They actually have a present the same range as a... Wait, that went up to 6.5. I thought that was a bit lower. No, I think I'm, I must be misremembering. Then again, it's in yellow. So, that does, typically when things are in yellow, doesn't that denote it's been approved? What a... Oh, oh! What did the, the, the upgrade in the engineering bay count, count to that? If that's the case. That, that then that's brilliant. But yeah, I can make these a bit better. I think uh, units get an inherent one from entering into a bunker. So that both uh, commandos and enforcers have six in there, but I can make the commandos have a seven with this upgrade, provided they stack. Okay, there's uh, an attack incoming, but I'll just toss down a few uh, supply depots. Okay, Shadow Cats. If I can go kill off the Acolytes, the attack wave will be a lot easier. Will be will be a bit easier. I shouldn't say a lot, but will be a, a bit weaker. Purely because if they can't heal, you know, they're not going to be quite as dangerous. And they have absolutely no problem in splitting up, so may as well oblige them. Okay, move. I just w wish I had some way for these guys to heal themselves, rather than just getting them back to the Civic Center. I do like that bonus damage. It's only... no bonus damage is to all. That's nice. I was just thinking of, uh, you know, how they bonus damage to light units. So, yeah. Uh, we'll grab these. Get grab that. Lasers, plasma, and lightning. Cool. Hey, okay, yeet. Over there. Uh, and that upgrade's gone through, so these will have... Wait, what? They've still five. Ah, it's only one when inside a bunker. It only goes up by one inside a bunker, so bunkers give them a plus two by default. Okay. So, anyway. Basically means these have a seven now. That's a 6.5. Alright. Um, 
Had to be honest with the like this swamp here, the